So guys, this is my review for Berserk 1997 original version, episode 19. With that guys, let's jump right into this review of episode 19. Let's get it. So guys, a, a lot has has been going on as far as these episodes, as far as the writing. Like I've stated this in my reaction to episode 19, like um, you know, the writing and stuff in this and in, in this anime, and I continue to state it, but it's just it's like really great it's really dope right um and like the character development the dialogue you know the all of it is just really great now the conversation uh between Kos Koska and Guts here um you know he he even talks about it with his you know in his conversation with Corcus um and then a little bit further a little, little bit past this but he's just basically saying like he's he's done living in the shadow of um of griffith and you know i believe that many of us can say like you know when you get to a place a point in your life you know you're just like i think you know it's time for you know it's time for something different it's time for change you know um and like that's the thing like griffith we know that he, up to this, you know, prior to this point, he was fine with being under Griffith's shadow. Like, he, just, what, two, three episodes prior, he told Griffith, like, dude, you don't have to come and ask me. Just demand me to do it, and I'll do it. Um, you know, he just had that mindset. And now things have changed within, what, 72 hours? And he's just like, look, I need to be his equal. This is what he's talking to um, them like Cor you know, Corkers and them uh, a little bit for past this point. Um, and one of the things that I, you know, I, I, I'm going to state it here. I, I, I uh, still, still kind of upset that I have to say this, but Corkers is basically was just basically saying like, you know, you, 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 if you get stuck in a rut, you know, you, you make the decision to change it. Uh, you do your best not to whine about it. Um, you either change or you stay where you're at. And I, uh, you know, it, it basically does hate. It, de it definitely does upset me to say that I sort of agree with Corcus because we all know that from my reaction, I've always stated, continue to state, even in here in, in episode 19, that Corcus is a bump. Um, but, you know, it's, it's true because you get to a place you're stagnant in life. And, you know, for me personally, just personally, the past few years, I've, I felt a bit stagnant in my life. Um, and, thinking do i want to you know do i want to change my current situation or do i want to stay and maybe just do some minor changes nothing huge to where i can find some sense of 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 fulfillment uh currently where i'm at now um and even with that i still agree with but you know with guts and saying that you know he he's tired of where he's at and he's like i need to you know, I need, I need to, uh, I need to grow and I need, I need to, uh, not be in Griffith's, uh, in Griffith's shadow. And it's, you know, he wants to be his equal. And that's, that's, to me, that's totally fine. But Corcus again, because he's a bum, he's just like, you know, you're nothing and this, that, and the third, he's this, that, and the third. So, you know, there's that. But again, the roughly the first like 10 minutes of the episode is just really great dialogue. And then we get to what we get to between Griffith and Guts moving forward. Now, one of the things I do enjoy about this episode, though, is because it's it's, you know, uh, the sun is is uh, is rising as you know, it's becoming morning. Right. And so when Guts pulls his sword out to prepare for this such a such a uh, climactic um, moment in in episode 19 that when he pulls his sword out the sun starts to come out and I really just like how beautiful that was in this moment in time but I've st st stated this in my reaction at the end I'm gonna talk about it here I'm gonna end up doing probably a couple of videos centered around this specific episode specifically about uh griffith and guts 
but I'm going to just talk about a portion of it. And that's basically the fact that because Costco went and told Griffith, Griffith comes here, he meets him here, and you know, brings the rest of the crew, and you know, this, that, the third, and it's like we, we, get, we get various things going on here. You know, we got, of course, this, this thing that's getting ready to transpire between Guts and Griffith, but then we also have Costco on the side and the rest of the crew just like, for the most part, the rest of the crew, just like responding and reacting in such a way, various reactions in such a way um, towards, you know, towards these two people. Um, and of course, you know, Casca is definitely having her responses. Her responses are really different from prior to, you know, the past roughly five, six episodes. Stuff, things have changed with her. Um, and it's stated that things have changed with her. Even in her mind, it's, things are changing. And, and the character development, Casca and of course with Griffith and Guts even here like literally guys the writing is just it's just really dope it's just really great for this episode um I definitely want to say this I didn't I didn't say this at the beginning of the video but episode 19 is one of my top favorite episodes right now because of what has transpired uh throughout uh, most of this episode even up to this point even past this point but um, you know, literally what these two are thinking, they're, they're sizing each other up. Again, Costco's on the side. She's yelling, screaming, hoping that, you know, there can be a peaceful, uh, resolution for all of this. But both men basically are definitely at a point where they're just like, look, this needs to happen. You know, Costco's even told like we're, we're, we're mercenaries at the end of the day, you know, this high and mighty life that we've been experiencing for the past roughly 72 hours doesn't change who we are, you know, and it is indeed, it is indeed, it's true. And so with that, definitely things are, I feel like are definitely going to change. Um, this is definitely the moment that we see wh where, you know, basically guts leaves the White Hawks. And of course it, goes back to way back in episode one uh with him being by himself like i stated in my uh reaction just saying like we see that which i find very interesting we see that stuff is definitely different with guts way back in episode one and maybe episode two uh definitely episode one um but but we are definitely seeing a change in griffith definitely towards the end of this episode i mean definitely you can see it the, the sheer shock and awe, disbelief, everything, a whole bunch of stuff is going through Griffith's mind here and moving forward to the point that, of course, it affects him to where he goes and visits the princess. He has, you know, an uh, interesting uh, night with her. Um, but at the same time, he's still affected by this moment, um, literally right after it occurred. So... Again, the writing in this anime is just super dope, and I'm just continuously loving it. 19 episodes in, but with that, I'm getting ready to go watch episode 20 and react to it, put it up on the channel, and then as always, be on the lookout for my review of episode 20 a few hours after my reaction to the episode 20 goes up. With that, guys, leave some comments in the comment section below. What did y'all think of episode 19 when you first sat down to watch it for the first time? Let's talk about some things. What did you all think of this moment um, when you first? watched it and Griffith's response to it throughout the last roughly several minutes of this episode. Let's talk about some things. But other than that, I will talk to you all over on episode 20. Peace, guys.